Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now if you haven't seen my earlier videos, please do check out the Geek and Noise channel. Some fantastic coverage on the Apple iPad. But this video is all about an app review. And in this particular video I'm going to be covering TweetDeck by TweetDeck Inc. Now this is a free app on the iTunes App Store. And it basically integrates with your Twitter account. So it's a Twitter client and very very nicely laid out and an absolute joy to use at the moment you can see it in portrait format and I've got two columns set up here I've got a third column actually to the right so I can scroll across to that if I wish but these two columns I've got all of my friends updates in the left hand column all of the Geekanoids mentions where somebody's mentioned me in the right hand column here I can scroll up and down through all of the tweets if I like the look of one of the tweets, I can actually tap on it. And this actually displays the tweet in this top portion of the screen here. And here it's given me a larger view of the tweet and I've got options of replying, retweeting, direct messaging that particular person, emailing the tweet to somebody or favoriting it. So really, really nice way of doing it. I'm going to actually reply to this one just to demonstrate. And I'm going to say congratulations. and then send and then that's that particular reply automatically sent very easy to do and just going to talk you through these icons in the top right as well if I click on this first one it allows me to search for somebody by their Twitter username and view their profile next icon along the little cogwheel is for accounts and settings next icon along is simply a refresh so this actually refreshes all of these uh, tweets down here. Next icon along allows me to add a column. So as I mentioned, I've already got two columns set up here and a third off the screen. I can set up another, perhaps a Twitter search, and add that to a separate column. So for example, if I was just looking for iPad news, I could perform a Twitter search for iPad news and have a column dedicated to that. Next one along is just for writing a new tweet. So I can actually type in a message here. So I'm going to um, put here, reviewing reviewing tweet deck on the iPad. And then I'm going to click send. And that actually sends it out to my Twitter account. And it should actually appear in this left hand column here. If I do a refresh, scroll to the top, there we go, reviewing TweetDeck on the iPad. And then I'm going to switch this around into um, landscape mode for you, so you can get an idea of what it looks like in this orientation. Now I will have to blank out some of the direct messages in this right hand column because they're uh, private. But basically here we've got a three column view direct messages on the right hand column, mentions in the middle column and all of my friends updates in this left hand column scrollable like so here I've been mentioned here by Nicholas698 so I can actually tap on that it gives me the option either to reply to that, retweet it, send direct message, email or favourite so you're given all the options also I don't know if you noticed there as I scroll up and down these if I scroll down too far I'm given a search bar at the top so I can actually type in a search and search within all my friends updates for a particular uh, keyword so a nice easy way of finding previous tweets same icons in the top right so as you can see it works just as well in either the portrait or landscape view I must admit I prefer the portrait view it's just a little bit nicer to me but this view works just as well well thanks very much for listening this has been my review of TweetDeck by TweetDeck Inc. It's available in the iTunes App Store free of charge, so absolutely fantastic value. No reason not to give it a try. Please do check back on the Geekanoids channel for more tech-related videos. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.